Right, so if your laptop isn't charging, the first thing I would do is check to make sure it's actually working. So, so that's got 20 volts on it. There you go, 20 volts. A little bit hard to do because you've got a pin in the middle that you got to touch. There you go, 20 volts. So I know that the uh, charger is actually working. So the next thing I'll try is the battery. And the battery is 11 volts. Even though the charger is 20, the computer will actually only charge the battery with 12. So I'm going to try this one. It's got a plus and a minus on it, so... So there you go, 12 volts. So I know the battery's okay. If the battery was too low, it might not accept a charge. So you need to replace your battery. It means one of the cells has got in, it's got like three or four 18650 battery cells in there. So if one goes, it won't be set to charge. So the next thing you have to do, which is what you should always do on any repair, is pull your charger out, take your battery off, hold the battery and hold the on button for about some say 30 seconds some say a minute so do it for a minute to be sure and that should that should clear off any electrics on the motherboard there's some data signals and excess electricity on the board it clears it all off some say it might be static electricity as well but whatever it is you'd be surprised at how many times that repairs it just clearing the electric out of the computer. So once you've done that, well the battery gets back together and test it. And if it still isn't working, you've got to go into Device Manager, which I'll do now. So there you go, I'm just selecting Device Manager from the control panel. Wait for it to load up. Go to batteries. You want to go to Microsoft AC adapter and update the driver but some, it's better to sometimes un uninstall it and then reboot it and let it install itself again but I'm not going to do that so try that and that is it